Hey y'all, it's your girl Daisy Dukes, aka the Shy Stripper, and I just got home. I had so many errands to run today, it was crazy. I'm so ready for the CNA mess to be over with, like, it don't make no sense. And it's not even like the actual, you know, task. It's not, the, the problem isn't like actually doing the CNA work, because it's not that bad although i would never want to do this for a living like ever i don't want to do i don't i can't I'm, i mean i could but i want to this is not my calling whatsoever <laughs> but today was interesting it went by really really fast because today i was on showers so i was with another cna who was doing showers for the day and that was something because we washed like four residents three out of four did not want to shower but they had one anyway um they were complaining a lot of them were complaining the whole time which is fine like i can deal with that i can talk with them and i don't mind doing all that that's not a problem one resident was like really really nervous and just really did not want to be in the shower and so while we had her on the bed she pooped so i had to clean the poop i did a lot of cleaning poop today we did a lot of wiping behind today. I had to collect someone's pee. I just, I did a lot today. I did a lot. But I'm home now. I'm going to take a shower. I got some chapato. I'm going to do my homework for microbio. And I'm going to chill until it's time for me to get ready for work. I'm not going to work Saturday or Sunday. Saturday I was supposed to go to a friend's birthday event. But I couldn't even like leave bed for most of the day because my back and my legs, everything was just hurting so bad from Friday night. And from Tuesday when I was on the hoop, um, I don't know. It just had my back really, really on 10. Like I could not leave my bed. I couldn't do anything but lay there. I needed the whole day to like recuperate. Then Sunday, I had went out. Um, I really just went out. Like, I got clothes for y'all. But I just went out and, like, dilly-dally around the city because I felt a lot better. So, I went and drunk at some different places. Um, and I was going to go to work, but I got too drunk. Why do you, like, super drunk? But I got a little, you know, I got a little buzz. So, I won't go to work. It was just, it was what it was. <laughs> It was what it was. I just needed some time to, I guess, enjoy myself. And that's what I did. So it's a new week. Gonna go hard at it this week. We're gonna make some money this week. I wasn't too far off from my goal last week, but I mean, I still didn't meet it, but it's fine. We're gonna do better this week. My clinical CNA program is, this is the last week of this. So Thursday, last time. I had to go into that nursing home. So I'll be much better when I don't have to make these 30 minute drives at 7.30, 7.20 in the morning. Um, and it was especially once this uh, whole thing is over with, well, for one, I'm taking a vacation. And then for two, I'm gonna like start traveling to other states to see what's popping because I think that's holding me back right now. I think that's stopping me from traveling and try to live life. It's just all going class. I can do my other class anywhere. Except for the two days that I have to go in person. And one of them is Wednesday. But other than that, I'm out, okay? Once this mess is over with, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm telling y'all. Y'all go get some traveling stripper vlogs. I'm out. Because I'm going to travel for my own peace of mind. Just so I can get, go see different things besides the state that I'm in. Whatever. But I'm also going to try to dance in some other states and see how it go. But anyways, y'all, this is all I got right now. I'll hit y'all up later. Okay, y'all, so I'm running a little behind because I was doing a lot of schoolwork, my microbio stuff. I had to listen to the lecture and take a quiz. But I'm about to get ready now because it's like 9.18. And um, I would like to be getting to the club by like 10 o'clock, 10.30. But we'll see. As long as I get there before 11, we're good. Okay, 
Okay, so hey y'all, it's your girl Daisy Dukes, aka The Shot Stripper. So today, honestly, I really haven't been vlogging like that this week just because I've been doing the same routine that y'all have been seeing for about two weeks. Um, I wake up, I go to my CNA class for like four hours, except for today, I also had to, I left straight from the nursing facility to go to my other college that I'm at for my pre-nursing stuff because I had to go to my microbiome lab today and we just you know we did some staining of bacteria and separating it and looking at it in the microscope it was really cool it was from 1 to 350 and honestly it went by really fast just like my CNA class did today because I was busy um I think the stuff that I'm learning as like prereqs for pre-nursing um have actually been really interesting so i guess it's a good sign that i'm interested in it because then clearly it must be for me if i'm finding the stuff interesting and not just a bore and that's my stuff i'm about to heat up some pizza i have not really ate anything all day i stopped at jersey mike's in between the two to quickly get some chips just so i could have something to eat but um i'm about to start studying for a test because since i have um my cna class tomorrow that's the only time that my professor was offering the test for tomorrow um so i emailed her the conflict and i have to take the test tonight from five to nine well i have from five to nine thirty ish to download taken uploaded back again on exemplify if any of you are familiar with that so yeah, I'm just going to study for the next few hours. I'll probably take it around, I want to say 8 o'clock. So that gives me like an hour and a half to get my um, stuff uploaded. And you only have an hour anyway. So I'll probably just take it around 8. So I have a few more hours to study, get through everything. I did study last night and I did really good studying last night. Like I went through a lot of my resources. And then today in class, we basically went over the same stuff. That's some of the stuff that's going to be on the exam. So I'm feeling pretty good, but it's the first exam. So you never really know what's going to be happening. Um, but anyways, that's enough to chat about my school life. Because I know y'all don't care, but I don't care. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to get to studying. I see y'all when I see y'all. I'm not working tonight because I could work actually since i have till nine o'clock i definitely could work but i think i might just wash my hair get my life together and work tomorrow because honestly i'm tired i've been going since 7 15 in the morning i just i don't even want to i'd rather sleep at a normal time tonight good morning everyone so it is friday and it's um like 11 21 in the morning i've been up for about two hours because i had to get pest control over here this apartment is so ghetto y'all but anyways i'm up i've been doing things i feel accomplished so i did just pay off another student loan period um so i have three more unsubsidized loans to go and they're all like only two thousand dollars each um so <laughs> period y'all we we make it strides y'all i also rolled over my for my money in my 401k for my old job to my new raw no my new rollover ira so i do have two different accounts with fidelity now and my money's going over there so i finally got that done since it's been over a month since i've been done with my job um so yeah, I feel accomplished. I'm just getting things done today. I'm so happy. Um, I guess I'm going to edit some videos because I have like two weeks worth of videos that I just need to get out there and I haven't been able to. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some schoolwork and probably fix me a nice little breakfast because I did go grocery shopping yesterday as you saw. I am working tonight. It's a Friday night. Hopefully, I f I'm hoping that tonight, this weekend is a good weekend since Memorial Day is on Monday. I don't know if this counts as Memorial Day weekend or if next weekend counts, but either way, I'm working both just to make sure that I get all the coins. I get all the coins. 
last night i worked i actually worked with a subscriber that was really really cool and if you're watching this girl hey girl hey um so sweet you know glad you enjoyed your first night you had a good time hopefully we can do even better tonight because it is gonna be a lot more people um but yeah y'all that was really really cool like we went and made some money together a little bit last night i'll tell y'all how much i made last night um i made 478 after all the money that i paid so i paid 20 dollars for my house fee 10 dollars to the dj 10 dollars to i guess they call them bar back for picking up my money five no seven to the guy who walked me out to my car and i threw some money on my subscriber i threw some money on her on stage because sometimes you just gotta throw money to get it to get the money thrown started you know y'all i only made my money on stage all of my money came from stage i didn't make any other money outside of stage like that was literally it my first stage set i made a few dollars from these girls um this one girl came and tipped me and like nobody was really getting tips so she came and tipped me a few dollars and that was great and then i went over and talked to her and she was um she wanted me to do a table dance for her but we weren't doing table dances at the time and i told her that she was like dang i was like yeah so we can just do stage or we can do vip but i'll be up on all the stages so after i talked to her i went and got on another stage her and her friend moved over and she was just throwing money on me and on some of the other girls which was great I didn't make any more money until my last stage set of the night, which was around like, I want to say around 130 y'all. And that money that I had made the first time was around 11 o'clock. <laughs> so that was, like I said, you know, I always make my money. And even my subscriber says, she's like, I'm gonna stay till the end. Cause I know you say you always make your money at the end. And that's exactly what happened. I got on the main stage. Um, and I had talked to this guy before y'all my club did something weird last night i was like hold up so um all of a sudden i was talking to this guy i had finally got him to go up to vip and he was just going to throw money for one song throw all the money he had in his hand for one song i was like bet let's go as we were going up the dj's like i need all entertainers to the back and i'm like are you I know you're kidding me, right? I just got this man up to VIP. I was just about to get my first VIP for the night with some ones. And you're sitting here messing with my money. So it's like, all entertainers to the bad. We're going to have sh uh, Shane for, um, for as our feature girl coming up. I'm like, feature? I know we're not about to do no promo. And I know Shane. I mean, I'm not surprised that she's the one who did the feature because... I'm not gonna say why, but anyways. So yeah, they um we had to go to the back. We did a little whack promo where you get three songs for the price of two, so that's three songs for eighty dollars. We would only pay ten dollars though, so we get seventy. That's not bad, and they get a shirt. But the shirt says the name of the club, and who just wants to walk around with a shirt on that says the name of the strip club? Like y'all could have been more creative than that. It was a gray shirt with black letters. So, um, or you could do table dances, two for $40, and they get a shirt. So, I was like, hmm, that's not bad. I should have offered the table dance, but honestly, I actually I should have, because then all of them at that table had money, and they would have thrown it on me. And I think I would have still had to pay $10. Dang, y'all. I fumbled the bag on that one. But it's okay because I still got money from them. So it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Anyway, so I went and offered that to him. He was like, nah, I really don't want the shirt. And then Shane was on stage. And I'm saying her name because y'all aren't going to know. Like anybody dancing could be named Shane. But um, she had got on stage and she dances to rock music. The, guy, the group of guys I was talking to were black. They're not going to want to go get dances to that. So I was like, okay, we'll wait till the next girl and one more song and we'll go up there. He's like, all right, that sounds cool. Then he says, Daisy on standby. I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just go on stage. 
I was like, you know what? I'm about to, actually I'm about to go on stage. I'll be right there if you want to come visit. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come show some love, and that was better because then I don't have to pay the club anything. And y'all, that's where I made. I'm pretty sure I made like four hundred dollars for probably like four twenty or whatever, however much. Because I in total I did make five over five hundred dollars at um before tipping everything out, but like. All that money that I made, probably besides like thirty dollars, forty dollars, maybe fifty max, all that money was made on those two stages and one more stage at the end of the night. That ass. So I got on main stage. He came, threw all the money he was going to throw on me. That was perfect. Then his his cousin came and threw some money, but by then my subscriber, she was right after her stage set was right after mine, and so I was like, okay, like I gotta get off stage. How do you get on stage? He's like, I was like, all right, I'm done. He was like, I'm not done yet. I'm like, wait, I gotta, you know, I gotta stop because it's her turn on stage now. I don't want to be rude. And so I got on stage and she got on. And there's one song in between you getting on the center stage. Um, so I waited the one song, then he did Daisy on the center. So I went and talked, went over to him. I was like, look, I'm coming on this stage now if you want to come over. And he was like, yeah, 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 I'll come over, whatever. And so, like, the girl was still on stage getting tipped and stuff and getting money. So, that was cool. I was standing on the steps waiting to come all the way up. And the guy came over and he started throwing money. So, I started throwing booty, of course, <laughs> as I should. And just on the steps looking up to the stage, I was making money. And so, then she finally gets off. I get on. You know, I'm going around doing a few little whatever. The guy comes back again, y'all money everywhere like money lit once is literally everywhere he's just throwing it just to throw it at this point i'm just twerking he's just throwing it just throwing it just throwing it then some girls come over and start throwing ones and then the girl and him start getting into a tip fight y'all i freaking love a tip fight we love a tip fight period and then the people in front of me everybody like looking around the stage are like whoa oh my god Look at all the money. Uh, like, you know, because that was a lot of money. Nobody had done that all night. There was no, like, extravagant ones on stage all night. It was really weird. But it was also a Thursday night. So, like, I'm not surprised. So we're on Thursdays. But that was, like, the most exciting that has been all night. And it's at the very end of the night. So everybody's like, oh, my God. I can't believe this is happening. They're going back and forth. And so, yeah, the girl's like, is that all you got? Is that all you got? And he's like, yes, y'all, throw it on me. Throw it on me. And then some other people come up. and Because um, he had walks away. I went up and did some tricks on the pole. Like I climbed all the way up, inverted, did all that good stuff. Dropped down. And then I dropped down from the top to a split. And people came over and started throwing more money. And then this guy, he tipped me, like, some ones. And then he gave me a $20 bill. And so, I'm just like, okay, period. I've been waiting all night. Been waiting all night. I thought I was going to go out sad tonight. My goal was at least, like, 300 It's Thursday. And I have never, I haven't worked a Thursday since I first got hired there, like, a month ago. So, I was like, or two months ago, maybe. I think I got hired in April. Since I first got hired on that Thursday, I have not worked a Thursday. So I didn't know what to expect. So my goal was only $300. We exceeded it. That's cool. I'm grateful for everything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Um, and yeah, y'all, I just had to wait till the end of the night. So that was kind of cool, though. Like, I was like, <laughs> I'm doing something. And so I got... um. I eventually got off stage. The subscriber was there helping me get all my money into my basket. And um, so then I went and threw some money on her too. Because I kept like taking up her stages and I felt so bad. Like, so I'm, of course, I'm going to throw some money. And then I was hoping other people would like tip her too. Especially since it's her first night. I know it's kind of scary being on stage your first night. And I'll be feeling bad when somebody before me gets all this money and I don't get money. And so I'm like, okay. Like, I gotta show my girl love so that other people can be like, oh, yeah, I need to show her love, too. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that happens. And that's happened to me at this club, too, where I've been on stage. People before me get all this freaking money. And then, like, some girls 
will come and throw money on me to get it started too so it just happens sometimes and that's good that you know dancers support one another hell anyways after that i think i got in the circle one more time i had walked around talk talking to some guys um but they didn't want dances one said he was coming back tomorrow so aaron better come back tomorrow <laughs> Because I remember faces. I don't remember names, but I remember his now. So, Aaron, but I'm going to be looking for Aaron tomorrow since he said I was his favorite. I'm going to try to get more footage in the club because I know I didn't get much last night. And I wanted to, but I was like talking to the girls, uh, the girl who subscribes to my channel. And her and another girl had met at a, a club before. Like right before they came to my club um, because they were auditioning there and they came to this club um, so that one of them could get hired or so that one of them could get hired because the other girl already worked at this club. And I knew her. I actually knew the other girl. They became friends at the previous club and I already knew the girl because I worked with her at another club. So like it's crazy so all three of us was just talking all night bob and i talked with some pole well i talked the girl who i worked with before some pole moves my subscriber she's bomb on the pole like she know pole stuff i don't know why you act as shy sis because you can do that on the static poles not just spin pole you good though she knows some tricks she knows some things she's got to loosen up that's it okay so i'll see y'all i know y'all have been seeing me in the past couple videos with my natural hair out that's because I need to let my hair breathe. Don't come for me. Don't come for my hair. I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. So don't come for me. I'm just letting I'm letting the curls breathe. Okay. Period. Girl, Sam. At least I can do table dances now though. Yeah, apparently they're twenty dollars, but um, we have to pay the house five dollars. I've never worked at a club where we have to pay the house to do a table dance. Is the name just start today? Yeah. Okay, so it's um, I honestly I'm new to this. Hey y'all, tonight was a horrible night. Um, that's all I gotta say. Tomorrow I also went back to the booty club to work with someone. Hopefully it's a better night because I need more money on. Thursday than I did tonight and everybody was just talking about how it was a trash night and it was like it was for one it wasn't many people who came and I don't know I thought Memorial Day being on Monday that it would be a little bit better but I guess not um look at my clippings anyways yeah y'all pretty much the money I made tonight is gonna be what I'm gonna have to use for my house fee tomorrow so I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Sí.
can hear your thoughts like a melody. Listen while you talk when you're fast asleep. You stay on the phone just to hear me breathe. Can't help the girl. Can't help the girl. Said it now, what's up? Said it past me. Like on the stage, I'm a victim of a sea. I don't care about the area. All right, y'all, so here's the finished look. I just did two little buns because I might get my hair done until Wednesday, so I'm not, I don't feel like doing all this extra stuff until I have to wash my hair. I'm about to count my money, get it out for the tip out because it is going to be higher because it's the Black Booty Club, but we're going to make it back, so period. And the white outfit is what I'm wearing because they're having a Memorial Day birthday party for two of the dancers. So it's all white. Um, so I have that white outfit I'll probably start off with and probably change later on like after 12. Excuse me. So, boom. This is it, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for your girl. Even though this is going to be after y'all see it. Pray for your girl. Period. You say you gotta organize your shit. <laughs> that's fine, I'm vlogging anyway. I said, that's fine, I'm vlogging anyway. Oh, this is horrible lighting though. This smells disgusting. It smells weird. It smells like a messed up fire. Yeah, it definitely does. when I stepped in the door. I just got home from the beauty club. Let me tell y'all about some of the drama. First of all, with splitting the bags. So for one, y'all, I've never been in like a real section before. This was my first time ever doing that. And um, it was interesting. Like I saw what smoothie money stopped flowing. I was like, all right, I'm ready to go. I don't know why we're still in here. Like we can go ASAP, but yeah we got another section um so I, I was partnering up with a girl and we were on stage right in front of the section and so like we had um started doing pole tricks and dancing and stuff and they started tipping us a little bit so like a minute or two after that we decided to go into the section and apparently it was five girls and one decided to come in a little late and then pop out or whatever um making it six 
but we only split that bag between five girls. Um, this girl was SOL because, um, yeah. And honestly, she won't do nothing. Like she was literally sitting there at the end, just sitting there looking around while we were all shaking her ass you know, shaking our behinds and making sure they keep spending money or whatnot. She was not doing any work. And I, I did see her pop up at the end all of a sudden. I was like, oh, okay. Um, but anyways, yeah, at the end of the night, um, for one, there was already some girls in the office arguing in the house mom's office about how I guess that some girls got cut out of a bag from another section. And son about $70, blah, 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 yelling, all this other stuff. And I'm just like, Ooh. And so the girl, the sixth girl on our bag who ended up getting cut out was in that bag too. So I'm like, dang, she about to get cut out of two bags. So as they're over there arguing or whatever, me and the four other girls, we've already straightened up the money. We're about to put it through the money counter. And... I, they were like, one of them was like, how many girls, how many girls is it? And I was like, six. And they were like, six? Who's the six girl? And I was like, that girl right there. And I pointed to her and they were like, no, it's five because she's been in and out. She won't even do anything. She was in and out. So no, it's five. And I was like, all right, shoot. Five is perfectly fine with me. I have no issue with that. I was thinking it was going to only be four, but I guess the other girl was there too or whatever. Ugh. Apparently she was there at the beginning. But anyways, yeah, y'all. So we split it. We only got like, well, let me not say only. We had we we each got two forty from that one. Um, so I'm grateful for that. I do wish it would have been more, but at least it's not less with six girl. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I've never stayed this late before at a club, so bear with me. But, um, yeah, so we got 240 from that one. Then my friend and I, who I was working with, had been parking around all night long. We split our money, and it was around, like, 400 in total that we split. Or 400 each that we split, that we got. And then we each did, like, little individual dances or whatever, too, so... Um, I haven't counted in total what all I have, but honestly, for all that work, I personally don't think it was worth it. I personally think I should have made more. But at the same time, we didn't get to go on stage for one because when we were in the section, us and the two other girls who were working together got called on stage while we were in the section. We had um, my partner, she let the DJ know that we were in the section. But like that doesn't mean skip us all night that just means like come back to us you know and he never did and so apparently his excuse was that it was 85 85 girls working tonight and he's just trying to get through there are so many other girls he didn't call in the night they grow we have been there since earlier and we still ain't going on rotation like this is there mm -mm. there's no excuse so, anyways, he ain't getting a tip because I was like, whatever. I feel like I probably could have hit a thousand had we gotten on stage. Because for a while, we were just like, oh. I will walk around. We made money on stage and on the hoop and stuff like that. And one of the girls, one of the, I think, waitresses, bottle girls, whatever, even recorded us and put us on their Instagram. So, I'm going to have to go look for that and see. Because she put our names to us. So I'm going to have to go see if I'm up there. Because um, we were doing double moves on the pole and on the hoop. And it was really cool. But anyways. Just like last night we were doing the double moves. But I mean I don't feel like. I'm not sure but I feel like. With how bad last night was. Or Friday night was. Um, Saturday probably wasn't going to be much better. At the other white club that we were working at on friday so i'm thinking that this was our best bet to be here on saturday i don't know i'm gonna have to confirm tomorrow because tomorrow 
I did decide that I'm going to the white club tomorrow, not the black club, because my body is tired and it needs a break. I need something easy. My shoe, my feet need something easy. So we are going to the white club because we're not doing all that booty hanging. And we're trying to make some money. Plus, and I'm sorry, my eyes are going in and out. I'm super freaking tired. And it's finally hit me as I'm sitting on the floor. But plus, um, the club, the white club that I'm going to is supposed to be having some type of event with a special guest DJ. So I'm like, oh, you know, maybe the music will be way better. Maybe um, different things will be popping off. So I'm ready for that. That will be an interesting experience. Other than that, I think that's all I got, y'all, because I'm partially falling asleep as I record this vlog. I'm going to try... <sighs> Actually, I am. I'm going to count the rest of money. And I probably have to recount it later on because I think I put everything together. It's 50. But yeah. Where? Oh, oh, I'm so tired. I mean, I'm glad I stayed, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, that was a lot, like, a lot, so. Okay, that must be the 240 from the section. I think the rest of mine, I have a water bottle. I never turned in my ticket because I said F it. So. Other 20s for myself. Oh, oh, sleep. Okay, we have a little, little something, something in here. A little something, something in here, y'all. Nobody up tonight. For one, I paid 115 to work, and for two, nobody did anything for me special tonight. Like the house mom did nothing for me, and then she charges to use her money counting, which I didn't know that because apparently one of the girls paid for it because she had to use it on her money too, which you know I'm cool with. But you know, who am I gonna tip then? Because ain't nobody do nothing for me. I didn't even get on stage. I would have tipped if I got on stage, but I didn't. So. Uh -huh. Um, I'm just gonna straighten out those things that I got in here. Honestly, oh, that's another one. We love seeing the pictures. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think it was that anything dramatic besides the end of the night. Oh, and when we were straightening up our ones from the section then. This guy had came over and we were sitting in a booth that one of the sections would have been in. This guy comes over and like aggressively, actually he was kind of far. He aggressively threw the heck out of these ones at this girl who was over there count another 20 who was over there counting with us. And I'm just, and we were all like, whoa. And so we were asking her if she was okay because she had her head in her hands for a while and then she got up and her eyes were really watery and i'm just thinking like what is wrong with you sir you need to be paying for her doctor bills you need to be giving her some more money than the money you just threw her when she threw her good mouth you could hear it hit her freaking head that's how hard he threw it and he was a good distance away y'all a good distance away but i just i hope everything's okay i hope she doesn't get pink eye or anything because Y'all know booty club money is nasty. It'd be all over the place. So I wouldn't want that on my eye. And then later on, she told us that that was her, um, I guess her ex or whatever. I don't know. I thought it was a complete stranger. So I was just thinking like, he need to pay, pay more. More. But... 
this up. Oh my goodness, y'all. I mean, it's so light outside. To see my way home. There's no street lights on one particular road. But I come home. There's barely any street lights. So I'm like, I can actually see it this time. So that's interesting. So ready to go to bed. Still got a shower. Put my life together. Alright. So this is like 80 900, 920, 924. Okay. Okay, so we were almost at a thousand, y'all. We're not mad at it, y'all. Definitely not mad at it. So, I'm gonna take my sh a shower and take my tail to the bed. I will see y'all on the flip side. Hey, y'all. So, it is. Sunday. <laughs> Just now getting up out of bed. Well, I got up a little earlier because my I had a I just felt really nauseous earlier and I was sore from working so late last night. So I drank some bubbly water and I had an orange. I I drank the little Spellegrino, whatever Italian water things. Um and so that helped me. I had burp you know all of it up so that was really good for my stomach since i don't have any ginger ale but i wanted to tell y'all y'all know how i told y'all about my tea and my moments with me not being able to have dairy and stuff like that i found some lactose free milk <laughs> at aldi so i'm trying it to see if it hurts my stomach um i wasn't well originally i was i told y'all about my dilemma with going to work which club um and i told y'all i'm going to the white club because I just I can't do it <laughs> I'm so sorry I am so freaking sore I cannot do any black clubs I'm sorry but and I was debating not even going tonight I'm not even going live because it's how sore I am but we're gonna go I'm gonna eat me some cereal I'm gonna take my quiz really quick and then we're gonna start getting ready for the booty club